um, six and a half minutes. Thank you very much. The Green Party would also support, or does support, the contents of that motion, looking for us to accept, among other things, 200 uh, on, on a, a accompanied minors from the Calais camp as a signal of our intent. Uh, and I hope that the ministers, who I also think someone says previously, are not without compassion or without, without concern uh, on this issue. I, I, I hope that we will be able to get agreement and see that motion put into action and agreed uh, uh, next week. I believe, I, I, I suppose uh, I would say this, but I think there was a significant development last year in the signing in New York of the Sustainable Development Goals. I think they are a manifesto for a sustainable future. And what's important about them is that they apply to the North as well as the South. They bring, which is so clearly true from our own part's perspective, ecological sustainability and social justice together. Those 15 goals addressing gender issues, addressing education, addressing water, they bring com a combined approach. And the, 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 the benefit of that approach, they, they bring a global approach, and that's the way for us to go. And I think actually by applying that, it not only shows a responsibility from the, south to the, the north to the south, but also creates a society here where we can bring in people. We have to start planning for being an island of 10 million people, and, and among that, bringing in people as refugees in scale, not just 200, but a much larger number than that, and managing it as we do. I would agree with what Deputy Malice, Wallace and others have said. We have to stop and have no more wars for oil because so many of the people who are refugees are coming because of the long-term addiction to fossil fuels and the geopolitical arrangements that were put in place to protect that oil supply. We need to start a war on climate because a lot of the people are coming from Eritrea, Sudan, the Middle East, other areas where the actual climate refugees are going to become the biggest issue and one we have to manage, we cannot ignore. It was 53 degrees in Baghdad on a regular basis this summer. 53 degrees, that's barely habitable. And unless we start that war, all our efforts here will be to no avail because we will be not causing the root cause of the problem. I have friends, good friends here, refugees who have arrived here, and they, they always say the same thing when I talk to them about. I said, do you think I would have left, wanted to leave my own home, my own Eden, that they came from? No. We have to protect that Eden in their home and in our home as the full, ultimate long-term response we need to make, as well as taking people in here. So I hope we can reach agreement next week. Um, I commend the volunteers, Irish volunteers and others who are on the front line doing brilliant work. I commend the people who drafted that motion which has prompted this debate here tonight. I look forward to us agreeing it hopefully next week. Thank you.